Ninth Circuit Court stabs President Trump in the back, allows illegals right to. At the present levels of unlawful border bouncing in the United States from Central America, an entire 15% of them are unaccompanied minors. These kids are essentially stuck on a truck or transport, headed to the border, sent over into the US with grown-up outsiders and, with a wing and a petition, are accepted to achieve their objective goal. Shockingly in the present blasting Mexican and Central American human trafficking industry, a number of these kids never make it to the states without first being attacked, abused, or raped. Indeed, even the coyotes who are entrusted with getting these mass groups in the deserts close to the border have been known to take a few of these youngsters for their own evil purposes. That being stated, the parents who are sending them on their happy way are not considering the extraordinary peril to their youngsters, and the liberals in control in DC are not considering the monstrous costs required in lodging and watching over these starving strays. Enter the quick-talking legal counselors to guarantee this is bypassed. Progressives have quite recently gotten the Ninth Circus Court of Appeals to concur with them that these kids ought to be conceded American nationals' rights to a hearing. Yes I'm right. Via Washington Examiner, a three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said unanimously that unaccompanied minors, as children who migrate illegally that are known, have the right to bond hearings that determine whether they can be released until their case is heard in court. The judges said the federal government must follow the terms of a 1997 lawsuit settlement that required bond hearings for minors. Once in custody of the HHS, minors are typically detained for a short period before being allowed to join relatives or other sponsors in the interior of the country, until they have to appear in court. Government lawyers argued those statutes overruled the 1997 settlement, but the appeals court disagreed. The government may appeal the decision to a full panel of the Ninth Circuit, or to the Supreme Court. Yes I am right, the right to a bail hearing sounds great and is a right that Americans enjoy. Americans being the operative word there. This would be an open and closed issue if these were the citizens we were talking about, but what's happening here is that once again, illegals are given rights that they should not have. The very much contended body of evidence against the allowing of citizenship to unlawful foreigners' kids by virtue of Section 1 of the 14th Amendment has been completely displayed and a genuine elucidation of the privilege relating just to black freedmen and their kids specifically following the finish of the Civil War is there for the perusing. To give subjects rights to these kids is what might as well be called a heckler's veto where a man of no specialist is given the heaviness of expert through agreement by an outsider who additionally has no expert. This decision will be tested and crushed by the Supreme Court. The Trump Organization won't trouble with endeavoring to put this through the full Ninth Circus just in light of the fact that the outcomes will be precisely the same. At any rate with the Supreme Court, the benefits of the contention in light of the Constitution will be wrangled, rather than a subjective, unsettled issue by politically motivated justices handpicked by leftists to administer to support them.